Welcome back to another Natron tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about color channels in Natron. We've got red, green, and blue channels. We also have the alpha channel. We'll talk a lot about alpha and transparency in this tutorial. So to get started, I'm going to go to the image nodes and just render in a color wheel. I'm going to drag this down a little bit so we can see. So we have our color node, color wheel node going into our viewer, and it looks kind of nice. Right, if we were to render this out, maybe I want to set this as my desktop background because I like the black. But a problem is, and we can try, so if we go to right and we just call this color.png, and then we link it into our color wheel, and then we go to our project and just do, if we want to just do a single image, we just go frame one to one. So it's going to do a single frame, and then we can render this to the desktop. But it's not going to show up the way we that we might think. It's not going to show up the way it looks here because it has a transparent background. So if we zoom in on this, we can see, if I make my icons bigger, um, you can see it has a transparent background. So it's not showing black like it is in our, uh, in our project here. Instead, it's just showing whatever's shining through. It's like it's sitting on a pane of glass almost. And if we open this up, We'll open it up in GIMP, which is like an alternative to Photoshop. We see it has this transparent background. This, these squares represent transparency. If we take the Erase tool and kind of erase some of the color, we see what's behind it is transparency. And so if we fill, just to illustrate this, if you're not familiar with transparency, if we fill it, uh, what? This, this layout's throwing me throwing me off here. I did it just a second ago. Where's my bucket fill tool? Oh, there it is. Okay. So if we fill this with black, so this is kind of the look we were going for, but then if we take the eraser and erase this black, we see what's behind it is just transparency. Um, hopefully that makes sense. All right. Um, so back into Natron here. So if we want to view that just like we were in GIMP, if we want to view the transparency, there's a couple ways we can do it, but we can click this right here and it shows us these squares which represent transparency. So if we render this out again, it's not going to show us the squares. It's just going to show us um, just this color. And it depends on what we open it up in. In GIMP, it showed us that. If we open it up in Paint, it shows transparency as white. If we open it up in uh, the, this uh, image glass, a program I use as a viewer, it shows it as gray. So different software, like if we uh, open it up, if we just drag and drop it onto here, onto Firefox, it shows up as like a light grayish color. So different programs render transparency differently, but just know that this is a transparent layer. So just because it looks black here doesn't mean it's really there. Sometimes you got to check this to see. Uh, also, we're, so we're looking at the red, green, blue channel now. If we change here, we can show what channel we're looking at. So we want to look at just the red. It shows us just the, the reds kind of come out and shows us a very strong white color where there's very strong red in our object or image. If you want to see just the greens, so this is telling us there's going to be a lot, there's no greens out here where it's black. There's very, very faint greens over here, but there's strong greens in the bottom left-hand corner. Let's go back and view in red, green, and blue to verify that. Sure enough, well, there's greens there. And then the blues, if we want to view the blue channel, it's probably going to be towards the top. Blues and purples. So play with that a little bit. Um, if we go over to our color wheel, back to the node graph, back to the color wheel, we see we have options for what parts of this color wheel object are uh, are really being shown in our project. So right now we have red checked, green checked, blue checked, and alpha checked. If we uncheck the red, we see the reds, we just see greens and blues. Uh, if we recheck the red, if we uncheck the greens and blues, then we just see red. And this red, you'll notice, kind of corresponds with this red channel. The only difference is one is red, one is white because now we're only showing through the red channel. Um, let me kind of re-emphasize this. So whatever we're seeing here, if we change this to the red and we try and export this view right here, it's going to export. In fact, let's just do it. Let's just go to our right node. Let's render this. And we'll see the render of this is still full color. It's not showing white. That's because 
our viewer is only it's only a representation to us what's really happening is what's over here in the properties so it doesn't matter how we change this just like if we zoom way out and then we're, we ex we think that by exporting this it's going to be much smaller it's not this is just the way we're viewing it so we can come here and view at a hundred percent we can view at ten percent but it, this is just how we view it the actual what the size it's actually rendered at is going to be determined by our project settings and the colors that it actually renders out and exports is determined by which boxes are checked in the properties not by what setting we're viewing at in the viewer so hopefully that makes sense because we can also adjust this there's some different settings here for adjusting the way that it's viewed and so that's kind of cool but if we like that look too bad we have to achieve this look in the properties not in the viewer settings okay um yeah i think i might leave this video here let's see anything else about transparency well let's just play it real quick let's add in a merge node um, just to kind of see so if we add in uh let's let's grab a merge node here and let's add in another background so this merge node will break all these different pipes we have here for example for, uh, and then let's let's put the color wheel as the top layer and let's just do a constant or let's do a checker or a color bar as the background so right now we we're seeing checkerboards because we have this checked by default it's unchecked and just black um, and then if we pipe it into the viewer now we're seeing a background of all these colors and we're seeing uh, the color wheel as the foreground and so I'm gonna actually delete the color wheel and let's bring in let's go to draw a radial so when we draw a radial for, I'll, I'll unlink that I'll just link the radial first to show this so the radial looks like this it has a color white in the center and it's fading out to it might look like it's fading out to black but to make sure let's check this and see so it's not fading out to black what it's fading out to is transparent so the colors black but it's at black at zero strength or at zero uh, alpha if we make it if we drag this all the way up so the color actually wasn't black at all it was white at zero so maybe let's make this green now so now we're fading from white out to green if we click this now we don't see any alpha we don't see any transparency which tells us if we were to render this it would look exactly like this green fading or white fading into green but if we click this here if we drag this down to maybe 50 percent and then we make it green so this looks very similar to what we had before but what we're actually seeing is some transparency which means the only way to achieve this look is when it's laid over top of a black background if it had a white background instead it would look different because black is kind of 50 percent of this color of the shade of this green is due to the black shining through from behind does that make sense so let's add these color bars in for example and it changes the look so now we're actually these color bars are bleeding through because they're on the background and it's no longer black so if i hit the d key to disable it looks nice if i re-enable that then we see so whatever this radial is on top of or if we export this image if we export it like this it'll look just like this the way we can tell is by viewing our alpha and it's 100 percent white so we're not seeing any we're seeing all the pixels at 100 percent strength but if i disable this now we're seeing it a, a little bit different we're seeing strong alpha in the middle or strong 100 uh, pixels in the middle and then lighter ones out towards the edge so we'll go back to our rgb and we'll see the color we're going to is green um, and so if we go to the green channel we kind of see that and if we go to the reds it's going to look different there's no reds so kind of play around with that it takes a little bit of getting used to but it's going to be really really helpful if you understand how this alpha works and if you understand that the changes you make in the viewer and the way you view alpha here doesn't always translate to your finished rendered uh, product so play with that 
play with checking these red green sometimes like when you import an image you'll have like your alpha channel won't be on by default or if you're just looking at like so that's what this color output layer shows red green blue alpha so sometimes you know it'll just be red green blue and so it's uh, important to pay attention to that alpha layer and know how it affects your final output thanks for watching we'll play more with this in future videos we'll catch you on the next one